Hello, welcome back to a reading. This is Corn Moon Tarot. You can call me Moon. Welcome to my channel. I felt divinely called to give a message today. So this is the first card that came out. Number 13. You are a consciousness worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas, turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on your track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. Your confidence is really getting you through this time. It's really telling you to utilize that, to trust that, so you can re receive messages and achieve the goals that you desire. I actually, when I was working, I received a message saying what you want wants you to, but I received a different outlook on it as to where, if you wanna start a new routine, if you wanna to get to work on time or do something that you desire to do, that wants you to. Like if you want to wake up early, that wants you too. If you want to eat healthy, if you want to eat healthy, that wants you too. Or even brushing your teeth, that wants you too. Little things like that want you to do better for yourself so you can receive the messages, so you can take care of yourself. Not just receive the messages, because that's kind of weird with mundane things, but actually things can come out of the mundane, messages can. And that's how we receive it to understand how to change what we want to change, if that makes sense. You are a divine light worker. You are a divine being, a divine star seed, someone who is different, someone who gives messages from the divine, whether it be through music, through writing, through talking to random people at, at the subway station. That's what I got. And also at subway. <laughs> hmm. you, may, you may have people walk up to you sometimes or even people that you're standing next to in line that compliments you or that says something random to you it's because you have a magnetic pull to you that wonders that wants to get people to understand who you are so i'm gonna be using this tarot deck today for your messages okay and also at the bottom of the deck for the angel numbers it says number nine so 13 and nine may be significant to you it is your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. Yeah, it's just showing me that you are someone who loves to give and loves to receive, but you had a lot of people who took advantage of that, who took advantage of your light, which I get that because us at light, as light workers, we will run into people who want to take advantage of that. My cat just decided to eat her food now, so... Also, if you haven't eaten breakfast yet, that could be a good sign to take care of yourself. 55's on the timer. There's some change coming, some disruption. Disruption from your energy to get you back on track, maybe to even guide you, to show you the truth of a situation, or just to show you how much you're worth, how much you're worth angelic. I just keep hearing angelic. I feel like there's a lot of starseed energy going on right now, and if you don't know what starseed means... It's basically when you are, when you feel disconnected, when you feel different from this world, like you're from a different planet or you're from a different area, location in life, you know, that's, that's basically a star seed. You could look more into it, but yeah, the ace of wands with the nine of wands at the bottom, uh, um, in reverse. Hmm. What's so interesting is when I saw this nine right here for this card, I saw the nine of wands in my third eye. And the Nine of Wands in reverse, it's like showing that you are coming to a completion with something, especially if you've been fighting hard for yourself, for your creativity, for your passion, when you feel like no one else was supporting you. I think that there's something coming from there that's gonna help you get back on track. That's gonna help you love yourself fully the way you should have. What is this Ace of Wands? Yeah, this thing that you have been I feel like some of you have gotten direct communication from either a person that wants to help you or from the divine as to what to do next in the situation. And I think it's gonna help you a lot. Whatever your situation is, whether it be friendship, family, love, or work related, you know? So what is this nine of wands in reverse? Mm-hmm, the six of cups in reverse. With the four of pentacles in reverse. I heard you're opening up to change the way you haven't been in the past. Yeah. Yeah, the Hierophant. There's something about building yourself back up. There's something about coming back to center with your moralities. You're understanding the complexities of your past, 
of how people told you what to do or how people told you how to be. Uh -huh. I think you're understanding that you were fighting for the wrong thing. You were holding on to the wrong thing, which was limiting you from your highest potential, which was limiting you from being your full form, from being your full self. So that's why I feel like I saw 5-5 five, five on the timer is because a change needed to occur to get you to where you wanted to be. Because you probably are a person that are saying, I feel like I need to change. I feel like something needs to change. Something needs to happen. But you're realizing that maybe you, a victim to your environment, I heard, but you were someone that were holding yourself back. You are someone that was not letting go of a past situation in order to get to the finish line. It's like, it's like you have, I'm seeing like a list of ingredients on how to bake a cake and you have all the ingredients, you have what you need to do, the measurements, but instead of following the instructions, it's like you threw it in this particular area and you were like, I'm just gonna follow what I feel or I'm gonna follow what I think is right. Not what I feel, but what you thought was right. As in like feeling like you know how to do it. Like you have the reins on this. And the universe is saying that we, could have helped you all this time or and you're realizing that you're realizing the wisdom the quietness of the divine and how they were helping you and how they want to assist you so it's like instead of fighting their love you're you're releasing control so what is the ace of wands what is the ace of wands oh this is the Queen of Cups. I'm not sure if it wants... Ooh, the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're getting more in aligned with who you are passionately. The Queen of Cups defining the Ace of Cups, clarifying with the Ten of Cups at the bottom. Something's making you very happy. Something's making you feel emotionally, emotionally fulfilled within yourself. The Ten of Cups is showing like happiness. You are finally understanding the way forward to your ultimate happiness, to your ultimate timeline. I feel like I keep saying the same thing. Yeah, the Hermit and the High Priestess. <laughs> You're getting connected more with your intuition, with your divine feminine energy. And even if you are um, uh, of another gender, you are still connecting to that because you take your time. You're not afraid to rush things. You are one. You are sacred your energy is sacred your emotions are too so it's like with this divine femininity opening up it's allowing you to heal that part of yourself for you to receive abundance for you to receive what you've been desiring all this time so with the hermit card i really think that you had to take the time to really connect with yourself that's virgo energy by the way and then queen of cups is cancer scorpio pisces whatever it's still anyways but I really do see you. I really do see you for you. I see you for what you want to do, what you want to achieve. And with this hermit card, you really fought hard for yourself to advocate for yourself, especially with your intuition, what you believed was in your Akashic records or was meant for you. It's very interesting to me, especially with this 10 of cups. You're like, I see the way forward. All these blues, throat chakra. So there's also red, so you're finally grounding what you've been feeling into the into the 3D. You're taking a chance on yourself. I heard Take a Chance on Me from Mamma Mia. It's a really funny song. It's a cute song. And it has to do with people taking a chance on each other. So that could resonate for you too. Hmm. With your compassion you're really picking and choosing where you want to direct that compassion towards. And I think that there's huge blessings coming in from this, especially with the 10 of cups, dude, like that's huge energy. I can't stress this enough that the 10 of cups is literally happiness about how your life is going. And that's where you're stepping into. That's where you're, you're feeling the most connected right now is with your desires. You're like, I'm, my desires is connected to my intuition, finally. That's what I'm hearing. It's like, finally, I could have what I want and know that it is right. Know that I am not crazy. Know that it is meant for me, that it is aligned. I finally have something that's in front of me that I don't feel wrong about, that I don't feel shut down. I don't feel victimized or hurt or betrayed. Hmm. 
Like you could go into something smoothly, like dip your toes in the water, like you're in no rush. Something is meant for you. Like what I was saying in the beginning of the reading, what you want, wants you too. Whatever this is, everything you want, wants you too. Wants you to be the best version of yourself, wants you to be the best version for yourself. Like literally not for anybody else. Let's get more messages, please. Collective. Messages for the collective. So we have the Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands with the world. Uh, yes. <laughs> so like literally you are moving towards victory over something. The world, like a completion. You're And the star. Wow. Aquarius energy. But the star. You are making massive changes towards healing. And this is beautiful. The Three of Cups is about celebration. The butterflies, I'm looking at the butterflies, they're so pretty. I got a message um, before when I was at work, when I was cleaning, um, I saw a monarch butterfly and we all could think, you know, butterflies signify transformation. But also I was looking at it, I'm just like, this is such a random time to see a butterfly during winter. But I don't know, I live in California, so I don't know. But either way, the download that I got was you are so rare, you are so beautiful, you are so priceless, just like that delicate butterfly that was just floating around doing whatever they desire to do, doing wh whatever and like not even thinking about it. It's just a butterfly being a butterfly. <laughs> it's nothing to it. And you are a human being a human. You know, there's nothing to it. You are safe to proceed. You are safe to realize that you are very rare. Your storyline is very rare and it's meant to be shared. So other people realize that they're not alone because when we go through things, just like us being a light worker, when we go through things, we have to realize that we're doing it for for ourselves, but the reward is helping other people. Like you're 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 realizing in this hermit mode, in this, you know, not understanding why nothing's working out for you and not being able to let go of the past situations to complete a cycle. But the fact that you're doing the work, you're investing in yourself, the time and energy that you did with the hermit card and all that stuff, it's really paying off. Like it's really, <laughs> I just see more, more adventures. I see more peace, <laughs> more unity, more, um, and also, I keep saying 44 for you guys. And also, if you were to be with someone, like your unions are becoming stronger. Like there's more foundation. The Three of Cups <laughs> with the Eight of Wands, it's fast moving energy towards celebration. Your confidence is paying off. You being confident in yourself. Like, I don't I don't care what people say. Because people could say, like, you have to be confident. You have to walk into a room, like, all, like, macho and stuff. But, like, actually, actually, your confidence is inner. Inner knowing. Because some, some woe could be walking in a room. Not a literal, you know. But some person could be walking in a room all confident. But they could be a bully. They could be the most insecure person. And they're just projecting because they don't want to get hurt. It's like their aura is strong, but actually it's blocking off energy for abundance. It's more masculine energy than the, the divine feminine. So you standing strong in yourself, you could still walk confidently. That's not my point. I'm just making an example of society's view on confidence. It could look different in many ways. So I'm just trying to pinpoint that for you guys. But yeah, your stillness, you having patience for yourself and others around you and your growth is showing that you're just a magnet to great things that are happening. You're a magnet to more celebration. Like I keep saying that, but I'm seeing that with the three of cups. That's my cat. I don't know if there's a crystal underneath my freaking drawer, dude. Um, keep, I lose them. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, this completion is just like victory. Like, yay. Like I heard the, um, I heard the sound from Five Nights at Freddy's, like the original game, when you go on to the next day, it's like the celebration sound. That's what I heard. Interesting, but let's move forward. It's like you made it past another day. You made it past another chapter that felt like it was impossible. Like if in the game Five Nights at Freddy's, 
the energy runs out like you only have so much battery you could um you have to utilize it you have to multitask your stress levels high and you don't even know if the monsters will come and get you and it's like i feel like there's symbolism to that to where you are finally put at ease you could finally rest now you've completed a hard chapter to where you feel like your mind was everywhere the three of pentacles wow a lot of threes for you so a lot of unions partnerships collaborations your work life Mm -hmm. the empress in reverse mm. yeah exactly with you working hard with you not feeling like you're in divine feminine it was definitely hard for you to to attract good partnerships to attract good um workflow because the empress card you may feel like you have to be in your masculine energy sometimes mm. what is this three of pentacles you have the seven of pentacles and the ten of cups <laughs> The star again at the bottom of the deck yeah it's literally directing me back towards you being happier you feeling more fulfilled you actually working on what you actually want to work on and you seeing results for it like dude that is that is what life is all about and if it's raining where you are it's like this it's get that as confirmation as you are purging the past you are purging what is no longer meant for you and in the work related field you know especially in in love in everything i just see you feeling more connected like i i have these t's and they have um messages on them you know those little cute messages but this one says make tea not war and sip sip hooray so they weren't serious at all like no quote and i'm like realizing this reading feels like it's gonna be about not too serious of energies like moving on towards the next feeling like you could you could finally not have to learn so much, if that makes sense. Like your learning period is learning how to celebrate yourself, is learning how to have fun, to treat yourself. Especially when you're working towards a goal, if it may feel like a seven of pentacles to where you're watching it grow steadily, it's gonna be healing for you because this 10 of cups right here, it's gonna be, because the star too, with the wheel of fortune under the star, wow. I feel, I feel loved. Like I'm in your energy and I feel loved. I feel seen. So this may take a while or it may be like a slow process as to what you're working on, but there's gonna be results. The wheel of fortune is moving for you. You're listening to your intuition, the star right here. It, it's, it's healing for you. Whatever you're doing right now, whatever you're going towards, whatever you're choosing for yourself, it's healing. You've unlocked the code to your healing at least an aspect of it to help and that's powerful <laughs> let me see what's more what's more the king of pentacles wow stability foundation more collective messages for my collective you are working so damn hard and it's like you need a break chihiro <laughs> my cat sorry you need a break judgment card wow the ten of pentacles and the knight of wands with the nine of pentacles at the bottom that's that's definitely that's being financially stable and independent she's in a playful energy right now i think she feels the energy you like that chihiro my baby yeah she's feeling the energy of you the judgment card came up with the ten of pentacles and the knight of wands girlfriend and the knight of wands is someone to help you because this Ten of Pentacles wanted to be in reverse, but the Knight of Wands is right here. It's like, help is on the way. I'm seeing fire. That re reminds me of like a fire truck. So you are being taken care of. Whatever you feel like is lacking in your finances, I'm telling you, judgment card. It's judgment day. It's time to reap what you sow. It's time to collect the karmic debt for you. And you are receiving that benefit. You are receiving the help. Look at this beautiful card. Look at the rainbow right there. After a rain becomes a rainbow. After rain, there is a rainbow. And why I'm so confident about that is because the Nine of Pentacles is right here. So yeah, you're you're stepping towards more of a fulfilling life. And if you feel like you're lacking in love too, that is also aligning as you continue on this path forward to not resist the change that the universe is calling you to do. Mm. It's red everywhere. Massacre. But as you are confused with what you're supposed to do as you i'm hearing you keep going 
for yourself, ah, Lord, help me. The more you do for yourself, the more you'll get answers and clarity. The more you move forward and follow the signs. I saw something on uh, TikTok, this girl, I forgot her name, Paige something. She's awesome. Um, there's one that said, uh, I think she was being literal about signs, but she was saying, when there's a sign, follow it. Usually the sign is right. Just follow the sign, it's telling you what to do. And there may be other signs that aren't correct or are wrong, but the majority of the signs are true. <laughs> like you uh, you have to follow the signs to 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 listen. Like don't don't limit your intuition. And I feel like if you don't trust your intuition, then that's telling you to be confident in yourself. So you can trust in your intuition, if that makes sense. So, mm, <laughs> yeah, you are so confident because you are loved. You can look at yourself and say, wow, I know that I am loved. I know that I am easily loved. I know that I can love other people and be compassionate and listen to their problems or share a bit of advice from myself isn't that enough don't you think that's enough to realize how priceless you are there's a lot of people who can't be here watching this video listening and receiving information and knowing that this is for them but there's a lot of you out there that is meant for change that is meant for to listen to this message to help other people to get confident to feel inspired to keep going it's a high priestess i didn't even realize that i was at the bottom of the deck your intuition is right dude whatever you're going towards whatever you feel like is meant for you it's it's meant for you judgment card what is this judgment i feel like it holds a lot of energy what is this judgment card we have the a lot <laughs> we have the eight of pentacles in reverse the five of wands in reverse the page of swords and the six of pentacles upright with the queen of pentacles in reverse hmm interesting there's king and queen of pentacles so that's divine counterparts the five of pentacles yeah you're changing your perspe perspective perception on your worth and value of the money that you receive so i really do think that something on the outside is going to prove you wrong because we have this page of pentacles and the page of swords you're learning something you're learning how to receive and to give like fluidly so with this five of wands and this eight of pentacles in reverse it's showing you that you don't have to work as hard for something as you think you do your perception of how money works of how you think you should receive it is going to change with time yeah you're learning how to give appropriately what is this lemon because i feel like lemon means something if you guys know you can leave it in the comments because there's a lemon on this card with the bowl reminds me of taurus hmm. give back also lemons i feel like lemons are a lot about cleansing so cleanse your space because as you're doing this you're going to receive a lot of attention there's a heart see like look at the heart on this um this animal bowl whatever <laughs> it's like it's blossoming there's even a flower growing inside of the heart like it's insane how one can feel when they keep going like you're gonna feel beautiful you're gonna feel powerful you're gonna feel like you're being loved and that's what matters you know so yeah you're also learning an equal give and take like how to trust learning an equal give and take yeah, especially if some of you were in, were in connections, like a partner or a friend that wasn't giving to you, wasn't emotionally fulfilling, you're understanding your worth. And I keep saying that, but you really are. This Five of Wands and this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it seems like you aren't wanting to put energy and work towards something if it's going to bring, if it's going to drain you, if it's all about fighting or chaos, like especially at the workplace for some of you guys, if you guys have been experiencing a lot of jealousy or a lot of tension that's over like i could tell you for sure that that's coming to an end because it's in reverse and also they're telling you not to put energy in that if there are people like that in your life the queen of pentacles yeah make sure to ground yourself really because it's in reverse because you are really healing a lot of feminine energy within you and that's really showing i'm sorry but there's a lot of proof coming for that so one more card for my collective. Ah. 
what did I say? The Ace of Pentacles, yeah. The Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Wow. Seven of Cups. Mm-hmm. Open up to new change. Open up to opportunities that are coming towards you. Because the Hierophant, wow. The Seven of Cups. There's going to be an opportunity that's way better than anything that you thought you had. Especially when it comes to work. You may be on the line with a bunch of, uh, like a bunch of choices that you need to make. But they're telling you... And you you feel like you are needing to keep to yourself. Like you don't want to open up to it or you're not satisfied or you're like, eh, this is fine, this is whatever. Mm -hmm. But you're not truly satisfied, the sun in reverse. But there's this, I don't know what this is. What is this opportunity? What does this say, of Pentacles? What does this say, of Pentacles? Hmm. The Eight of Cups in reverse with the Page of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Not wanting to walk away. What is this Eight of Cups? Hmm, the Ten of Wands, wow, yeah. With the King of Swords in reverse and the Page of Swords in reverse. The star on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're gonna be able to walk away from something. Like with this King of Swords in reverse with this Page of Wands, you're no longer in that toxic cycle, that toxic energy, especially with having to be cold, having to be guarded. And this Ten of Wands carrying a bunch of shit on your shoulders. Like this, <laughs> and not being able to walk away from something because you feel like you don't have a choice. But there's gonna be something that's being brought up to you, that there's gonna be an Ace of Pentacles, there's gonna be an offer from the universe that comes in the form of a person or an idea that's gonna grant you the energy to move forward and to heal the star again. The star is like a leader of your energy. You are a healer and you will be healed over this. Yeah, the death card in reverse with the King of Cups, wow. Yeah. You will be shown the way, that's what I heard. You will be shown the way and your wish will be granted. It's, it's, it's coming. One more card. The Knight of Swords, yeah, with the Knight of Swords. Intrusive thoughts eating you alive, like feeling like you can't, yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. There is gonna be healing washed over you. And it's time to take control of your thoughts. It's time to stop diminishing yourself because this opportunity is going to be there for you and you have to realize your worth. That you can have something like this. You may be watching this right now and thinking, nah, that's not meant for me. Nah, I can't have that. Can you? Because you're here right now and you can. You can change anything right now. You can change anything for yourself. And I'm still doing that. I'm still changing fixed ideas that was made in my head because of society, because of conditioning, because of what people told me, who people told me who I am. Um, I'm sorry, but you don't know my soul. Listen to your crazy ass intuition, ba baby, buddy. Wow, baby or buddy. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I got the vision of Buddy the Elf from Elf and he felt like he wanted to go to New York to meet his father after he realized he existed. And no one judged him, but it may sound out, out, outlandish. I don't know if that makes sense. But he knew that he had to go on this inner journey for himself. I'm seeing him sitting on the ice thing and going towards, um, you know, New York City. But it's kind of reminding me of the Hermit card. Like, you went on your own journey. And you have to trust this journey. You have to trust that there's going to be a reason for it. That there's a higher calling for you. And don't let anybody diminish your heart because he had such a beautiful heart going into New York City and even a raccoon attacked him showing you how the real world is and that's how it is. But nothing can diminish you. Don't let anything hurt you. Even if your father tells you in the room saying, get out, get out of my life, I, you're not my son and stuff like that. And he was like losing all hope. But and then Santa needed his help and he ran into Santa Claus. This divine appointment happened for him to where he's like, I am worthy. People do need me. I am smart enough. I am brave enough. I'm not stupid. I'm not naive. I went through shit. I'm not going to let anybody control me. I'm not going to let anybody tell me anything different just because they're stuck in their own healing. I'm on my own healing journey. You have to remind yourself of that. So let's get one more angel card for you and then we'll close it out. Okay. Yeah, you have a powerful 999 again completion for you guys. Wow. 
Think the, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of your life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. What did I say? You are completing this cycle and you are doing it with your head held high, knowing, look at this Nine of Swords, it wants to be done so bad. Knowing who you are. Once again, the eight right here and then we'll be done. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Be representing the ebb and flow the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. 33 on the timer. All right. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe because when you do, it will resonate higher and comment down below your thoughts and your feelings because this is uh, <laughs> this is like a huge shift of energy, dude. Like I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the cycle of the collective moving and growing into something way bigger than they don't even know yet. And you guys don't even see it. I could feel it within myself too. So this is powerful. Okay, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you again soon. Keep spreading love because that will always be the answer and put up those boundaries towards those bad thoughts and towards those negative intentioned towards people, whatever that makes sense. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye.